The acquisition of the Place de la Concorde during World War II was illegitimate and unjust by Russian troops who looted the famous painting and claimed it as a justified and lawful treasure for Russia and the Hermitage Museum in St. Petersburg. It should currently belong to the descendants of Margaret Scharf, Otto Gustenberg's daughter who legally inherited his legitimate artwork collection that he bought up to World War II, including the Place de la Concorde and should currently belong to his grandson, the late Dieter Scharf's family. Hilaire Germain Edgar Degas, later known to the world as Edgar Degas, was born into an affluent and musical Parisian family on July 19, 1834. His mother, Celestine Muzan, was a Creole from New Orleans, and his father, Pierre Auguste Heikinth Degas, was a Neapolitan banker and art lover. Around 1860, Edgar changed his surname from the socially pretentious Degas to the spelling he is known by today. Degas's artistic talent was apparent from a young age. His precautious ability to draw and paint was encouraged by his art-loving father. His family was also very musical, especially his mother, who was an amateur opera singer. They even occasionally held recitals at their home. A favorite occupation for Edgar and his father was to go to the Levere Museum in Paris, where they saw some of the world's greatest paintings and were able to meet important people in the art world. This encouraged Degas's interest in neoclassical painting. At age 18, he was given permission by the Levere to copy paintings in their collection. He also sketched numerous studies of the plaster casts of the horses from the Parthenon, laying the groundwork for his future horse paintings. Because his family was rich, his life as a painter unfolded far more smoothly than for the other Impressionists. After the death of his wife, Edgar's father moved to Rue Mondavi. He set up a studio for Edgar on the fourth floor, from which the Place de la Concorde could be seen over the rooftops. Edgar's father himself was an amateur painter and connoisseur. He introduced his son to many of his friends. Edgar Degas held close to the ideas of the Impressionist circle for he favored the animated Parisian life of his time as a motif in his paintings. Upon his return to France in 1859, Degas moved into a Paris studio large enough to permit him to begin painting the Bellali family, an imposing canvas he intended for exhibition in the Salon, although it remained unfinished until 1867. Degas returned to Paris in 1873 and being dependent for the first time in his life on sales of his artwork for income, he produced much of his greatest work during the decade beginning in 1874. He joined a group of young artists who were organizing an independent exhibiting society. The group soon became known as the Impressionists. Between 1874 and 1886, they mounted eight art shows known as the Impressionist Exhibitions. As the subject matter changed, so too did Degas's technique. The dark palette that bore the influence of Dutch painting gave way to the use of vivid colors and bold brushstrokes. Paintings such as the Place de la Concorde read as snapshots, freezing moments of time to portray them accurately, imparting a sense of movement. The changes to his palette, brushwork, and sense of composition all evidence the influence that both the Impressionist movement and modern photography, with the spontaneous images and off-kilter angles, had on his work. Degas took a leading role in organizing the exhibitions and showed his work in all but one of them. Despite his persistent conflicts with others in the group, he had little in common with Monet and the other landscape painters in the group, whom he mocked for painting outdoors. Conservative in his social attitudes, he adored the scandal created by the exhibitions, as well as the publicity and the advertising that his colleagues sought. He also deeply disliked being associated with the term impressionist which the press had coined and popularized, and insisted on including non-impressionist artists. The resulting rancor within the group contributed to its disbanding in 1886. In the late 1880s, Degas also developed a passion for photography. He photographed many of his friends, often by lamplight. Other photographs depicting dancers and nudes were used for reference in some of Degas's drawings and paintings. As the years passed, Degas became isolated, due in part to his belief that a painter could have no personal life. The Dreyfus Affair controversy brought his anti-Semitic leanings to the fore, and also he broke with all his Jewish friends. 
Although he is known to have been working in pastel as late as the end of 1907, and is believed to have continued making sculptures as late as 1910, he apparently ceased working in 1912. He never married and spent the last years of his life nearly blind, restlessly wandering the streets of Paris before dying in September 1917. Place de la Concorde, also known as Viscount La Pique and his daughters crossing the Place de la Concorde, is an 1876 oil painting by Edgar Degas. It depicts the cigar smoking Ludovic Napoleon La Pique, his daughters, his dog, and a solitary man on the left at Place de la Concorde in Paris. The Tulerius Gardens can be seen in the background, behind a stone wall. Many art historians believe that the large amount of negative space, cropping, and the way in which the figures are facing in random directions were influenced by photography. The painting was considered lost for four decades following World War II until Russian authorities put it on exhibition at the Hermitage Museum in Russia, where it remains to this day. During the Soviet occupation of Germany, the work was confiscated by the Soviets from the collection of Otto Gerstenberg and eventually moved to the Hermitage. Otto Gerstenberg was a German businessman and art collector. Under his leadership, Victoria Insurance became the leading German life insurance company. One of his innovative achievements in the insurance industry is the introduction of life insurance as a national insurance in Germany. Gerstenberg owned one of the most important private art collections at the beginning of the 20th century. Parts of his collection are today as looted art in Russian museums. Gerstenberg's collection of paintings became known mainly through the significant collections of works of French paintings of the 19th century. One of the most famous pictures of the collection was Place de la Concorde by Edgar Degas, which Gerstenberg acquired in 1911 for then the very high price of 120,000 francs. Otto Gerstenberg sold only a few works of his collection during his lifetime. It is known that he separated in 1922 from the collection of the Old Masters graphics and the Dutch paintings of the 17th and 18th centuries. After Gerstenberg's death in 1935, his daughter Margaret Scharf inherited the collection. However, she did not live in a parental villa and in 1937 had her own house built on the large property of the Palais Gerstenberg. Since she could not accommodate all the pictures of the, of the father in this smaller home, she deposited many of the large format pictures in the magazine of the Victoria Insurance in the Berlin Listenstreif. During a bombing raid during the Second World War, this part of the Victoria building became destroyed and burned all the paintings stored there. In April 1943, Margaret Scharf handed over a large part of the collection to the National Gallery for storage because of the intensified bombing raids on Berlin. This used the considered safe turrets, Zoo Bunker and Festrichstein Bunker, also for the storage of their own collections. On May 2, 1945, Russian troops occupied the flag towers and transported in the following period the art collections contained therein to Russia. Numerous works from the Gerstenberg collection are now looted in the Hermitage in St. Petersburg and the Pushkin Museum. These include the Place de la Concorde by Degas. During the war and shortly after the Second World War, Margaret Shaw transported the remaining works of the collection, partly by train and partly by a farm trailer, to Opsisdorf in Bavaria, where the family also owned an estate. Due to economic difficulties in the post-war period, Margaret Shaw was forced to sell some significant works. Even today, part of the original Gerstenberg collection is in family ownership. Otto Gerstenberg's grandson, Dieter Schaff, founded shortly before his death in 2001, the Foundation Dieter Schaff Collection in memory of Otto Gerstenberg. From July 2008, the artworks of this foundation can be seen in the Schaff Gerstenberg Collection in Berlin. Following the fall of Berlin in 1945, the picture, among other trophies, or as they are now known, called displaced artworks, was sent to the Soviet Union and turned up at the State Hermitage Museum. In 1997, a law was passed by the state Dunma, which declared that the picture and other works of art remaining in Russia following World War II was, are inalienable property of the Russian Federation. From March 2010 until May 2011, the State Hermitage Museum undertook the restoration of the painting following attentive physical and a chemical research of the canvas. It was x-rayed, macro-photographed, and images were taken with ultraviolet and infrared rays, and finally, pictures in oblique light were also taken. On May 19, 2012, a new exhibition of the Masterpieces Reborn series was opened, featuring Edgar Degas' painting, Place de la Concorde, following restoration. Place de la Concorde by Edgar Degas is a milestone in the 19th century French painting. 
Recently, this picture has been constantly referred to in various publications relating to the theme and development of contemporary art, and it sharply differs from the vast majority of canvases painted in the 1870s in any European city.